Manchego. Welcome back. It has been a school year like no other, and to cope with this pandemic, Kama Aina Kids has created a new program. Site coordinator Brian Valoria joins us now to explain. Good morning to you, Brian. Thanks so much for joining us this morning. Thank you very much. Good morning. Tell us more about this new program that Kama Aina Kids is offering. So, to, in order to evolve and adapt to these unprecedented times, uh, Kamaina Kids is offering what we call distance learning support centers, uh, where the students whose distance learning school times actually line up with their parents' uh, working times and can be provided with extra support, uh, whether that be logging in at their designated times, assisting with schoolwork, or even basic troubleshooting. Because technology has become a challenge for many of us. Oh, definitely. How many locations are now available and what are the restrictions? Uh, well, thanks to our amazing support uh, from our preschool division, we actually have six distance learning support centers. Uh, we have them at Aikahi Preschool, Eva Preschool, King Street Preschool, Mililani Tech Park Preschool, Mona Lua Preschool, and St. Timothy's Preschool. We also have uh, one location on Maui and uh, two on the Big Island. And as for restrictions, uh, we just ask that the parents uh, and children bring their own materials like their laptops, iPads, uh, pen, pencils, Wi-Fi jetpacks, whatever they need to log in. What about cleaning supplies and whatnot? Oh, we provide that all on site. So sanitizers, um, soap, whatever you need, we have that here. All right, that's good to know. What are some of the challenges that you've seen or that the child care industry has had to get adapted to? Well. Some of the equipment provided by the students' schools, uh, they don't always work. Uh, Wi-Fi can be a big trouble, especially if you don't have. Um, computers aren't charged sometimes. Uh, also, our students have uh, varying schedules that can change daily, and it can be really hard to keep track. Uh, luckily, the students have an amazing uh, teacher staff that are understanding and are willing uh, to keep in contact with our staff on how to best assist them. What do you want parents out there to know when it comes to safety and health as well as financial assistance? Well, we are working around the clock to ensure that each site is practicing social distancing and abiding by the guidelines set in place by the CDC and the Hawaii Department of Health. Uh, we are also constantly cleaning and sanitizing tables and heavily used surfaces. Uh, staff and children must have masks on at all times while on the campus, with the exception of designated meal and snack times and while drinking water. We do take the student's temperature before entering campus, and the parents must answer a few questions, including if their child has shown any symptoms, and if their child has slept well. Um, the children are also taken to wash their hands before joining the others. And that's kind of a constant thing we do here. Every hour or so, I'd say we have them wash their hands just to keep safe. Our first priority is the safety and well-being of everyone, including the children. And Bryce, where can parents find out more information about Kamaina Kids and locations open right now? Uh, so for more information, you can find it at our uh, website, www.kamainakids.com, or by calling our corporate office at 808-262-4538. All right, Brian Valoria, site coordinator with Kamaina Kids. Thank you so much for joining us on this Aloha Friday, and have a great weekend. Thank you very much. You too.